What's up guys, this is Lash Manjan from TechRaman and I have here the LED TV Log 2 and let's do an unboxing and the first impression of this device. Along with that I also got the CDLA uh, Type-C earphones. As you know that Log 2 has chucked the 3.5mm of audio jack and replaced it with a uh, Type-C port which can be used for the headphones. So this is the CDLA Type-C USB uh, earphones uh, this is the first company uh, first uh, brand to come up with this USB type C earphones and uh, let's see uh, about this in the next video but right now let's unbox this lot 2 so already I removed the plastic cover sort of it so it's, let's just pull out this cover that's a nice black box for a change here we have the device so this is the lot 2 and it looks almost very similar to the LAW 1S uh, except that the camera model has been uh, positioned differently so the ADL uh, 1S had the camera here so now it is prominent in the middle and then here we have the fingerprint sensor as well as the LED flash now uh, let me peel off the sheet and also the sheet from the back Neat. okay it also comes with a cover out of the box also very similar uh, to the allowance I think there's a slight shade uh, change and uh, but the form factor is very different very similar and I really love the almost bezel-less display of uh, law devices and it's also carried over here so once you get used to such a display it's when you shift to a different phone you the bezels looks very prominent it does a pretty good job at that let's keep this aside and see what else there inside the box so we have some set of documentation as well as the pin. So we have the uh, Type-C uh, reversible cable. Adapter, okay. So since there is no Type-C 3.5M jack and in case you want to use your existing uh, headphones, you can use this adapter. Good that Loico has provided this out of the box. So it's a quite a bulky uh, power adapter, power brick and uh, it supports 9 volt and 12 volt. So I think uh, it should uh, support the for quick charger. So uh, coming back to the device, let me power on the device. So you see the Loico branding here, while here it shows still the uh, Law TV but we have the Loico branding while booting and so let it boot uh, by the time let me take you around the design so we have the um, power, power button volume rocker it's the infrared port at the bottom we have the speaker grill and the usb type c port and the left side has the sim tray Let's eject the sim tray so uh, it's, it's a dual sim uh, Tray, so it can accommodate two nano sims there is no uh, provision for micro SD card so it doesn't support an external memory card EUI of Loico so uh, while it is still booting let's talk about the hardware specs so it measures 7.5 mm in thickness and weighs 153 grams the uh, weight is well distributed and it looks uh, good on hands and then you can see the uh, edges with which is glistening so again adding an interesting design element to it you can see it's shining around the edges so uh, we are at the home screen of the phone and uh, there you have the live so which gives access to their uh, yup tv content so you can see live tv channels uh, love view which uh, gives you recommended uh, videos from youtube based on your interest love vd so he also have the love vd which uh, pulls out the contents from the uh, from the eros now and there is also a remote control as you know that it comes with the infrared so you can use this uh, to control your home appliances like tv compatible ones the UI follows a different structure so you have the notification shade here and the quick access can be found by clicking on the menu button so you have the toggles for camera flashlight and other stuff over here including calendar and then you have the settings uh, toggles here and the open apps are listed over here and you can swipe up to close them all powering the Indian version of the Leto is a Snapdragon 652 chipset 
It's an autocore processor with a set of quad core 1.4 GHz Cortex A53 and a quad core 1.8 GHz Cortex A72. It has a Adreno 510 GPU and a 3GB of RAM. And the software side, it runs on Android Marshmallow with the EUI layered on top of which. And the storage front, it comes with a 32GB of internal storage, out of which you get around 29GB user available. Now let's get into the camera. It comes with a 16 megapixel rear camera with a f2.0 aperture and on the front you have a 8 megapixel selfie camera with the f2.2 aperture. Let me walk you through the camera mode. Camera mode has a slow mo video, photo and pano and moving it up you have the other modes like HDR, night, square mode, beauty, scene. Uh, the camera has always been a bit of a concern with the LoR devices and hopefully they would have changed it in the new LoR 2. Let's cover the camera in detail when I do the camera review. So uh, clicking on the uh, settings option of the camera app, you can also get an option for timer, voice control, shutter speed, shutter sound, you can tweak with the exposure, white balance, ISO and the contrast and sharpness and saturation so this is the first impression of the lot to hope you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up if you like it share the video and subscribe to our channel and he'll be doing the in-depth review in the coming up videos so stay tuned this is Lesh signing off for Techraman. have a great day cheers